right, here we go, Sid. Come on. Easy weight. Come on. All you. Control the weight. Control the weight. Come on. Pump them out. Piece of cake. Come on. Stay with it. Yes, come on. Yeah, rip them out. Good. Looking strong. Come on. Stay with it. Come on. All you. Come on. Stay with it. Control. Come on. Control. Come on. Push it. Yes, yes, yes. Don't stop. Keep going. Don't you stop. Yes, don't you stop. Come on. Yes, good job. Good job. Yeah, man. Good deal, man. Good deal. Good deal. Good deal. Hey, here we are again with our Power Up series today. Today we're talking about the breastplate of righteousness. And you know, when you see behind me a lights, a three red lights in a, in a lifting competition, you're disqualified. So we're going to talk about now today, we're going to talk about the breastplate of righteousness, what it means to be qualified before God. And as we do that, we just pray and hope that you'll continue to watch these videos. For you alone, you're going to be blessed. To God be the glory. I get it. Seth, that was some good lifts, man. I mean, you've been in our competitions before, and you know what it's like to get white lights, and uh, I don't know if you've ever gotten a red light, but that's what we don't want to get in, that's exactly in a powerlifting right. competition, because that means you're disqualified. You know, in, in life, too, sometimes we feel like men, in particular, we can be disqualified from life. Absolutely. And being righteous means to be morally fit. Now, we're in the gym, we're talking about physical fitness, but we want to talk about moral fitness and being right before God. And you know, sometimes we feel like we've just been, we're losers, but you know, you know, 1 John 1, 9 says, we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of those sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, giving us all white lights, to God be the glory. You know, one of the things you said, John, I, you know, the, the word when you were, when I was lifting, right before I lifted, you said, control the weight. Control the weight. And you know, it, it, I'm telling you, it's so important when you're when you're lifting. And I've lifted in heavy competitions before, and John has judged a ton of them. But one of the things that happens is when you take it off the rack, um, you you pretty much know at that point, okay, I've got this. Yeah. You better know that, okay? Because here's the deal. If there's any doubt in your mind, that's going to translate into a poor performance because you're already beginning to think, how can I compensate to overcome? Because I'm not sure I can get it. I've got to control the weight. The problem is when we translate that over into life, we feel like we're gonna, we've got to control everything and we can't do it. We can't control every situation. In fact, most times, you know, when I try to control something, I end up messing it up. And, and in the game of life, that's like getting a red light. And that's when a lot of people that I know John and I meet every day they feel like they've had a red light in the game of life man they feel like they're not good enough to even approach god mm -hmm. and and that's really you know, the breastplate of righteousness I, I want to make sure you understand what this means you know paul was saying put on the full armor of god that you can withstand the the uh, attacks of the evil one and the way the breastplate was designed it protects your vitals okay uh, and so that, that shield around your chest is so important. You know, in, in lifting weights, you want to keep your upper body strong. Uh, but in the, in the faith game, if you will, uh, it's not my good deeds that really measure up. Because I can't do enough good to then be seen as righteous. So the, the breastplate of righteousness, just make sure you understand, is not your righteousness but it's the righteousness of God that was given to us through his son, Jesus. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I mean, that, to me, that makes all yeah. the difference, right. John, right. Right. you know, that, that the control idea yeah. is saying, Lord, I'm trying to control this. I'm going to let you control it. Amen. And we got to give it to him. We got to give it to him. We got to remember too, Seth, that, that scripture tells us I can do all things through Christ. Just like we talked about last week. But knowing that oftentimes when we think those wrong thoughts, we need to take them away. Instead of listening to ourselves, we need to talk to ourselves, talk the word of God. We're the head and not the tail. We're above and not beneath. We're the victors and we're not the defeated. That's right. In Christ Jesus, we have all things and we can do all things. That's right. To him be the glory. You know, we can do anything through Christ. That's exactly so we right. give him the glory 
because he's already there. He said, just now grab that weight, grab that problem, whatever you're going through, and I'll see you through it. He fights the battle. Amen. For us. Amen. Y'all, that's that's the cool news. And, and, and here's the deal. In these videos, especially the ones that are coming up, we, we hope that you'll dial in. And what we're hoping happens as you're as you're watching these, just like, you know, that, that that's starting to make sense now. Because at the end of the day, if we can understand God fights for us. Mm -hmm. We put on his armor mm -hmm. and then he fights for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, John was saying, control the weight. And then what we're saying, spiritually saying, God, you control the weight. Yeah. I'm giving it to you. You control the weight. And he does that. He is through his son, mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. He provides all the righteousness Amen. so that he sees us as his children. Amen. So we're so glad that you decided to, to check this out and share it with some friends. Listen, this is not for anything other than to bring glory to God and point people to God's word. And so help us get the word out about these power up video series, because you, it, there may be one person out there that this video, it may connect with them in a way that maybe something else wouldn't. And uh, so let's get the word out and let them know. John, thanks so much for letting us host this Amen. here. And, Wonderful. And uh, look this forward to seeing great. you next time. All right. Yes, I want to pray. Yeah. Father God, we just thank you for who you are, that you take everything that we have, Lord, and you make it. It's just like when Moses put down that staff, you said, put it down. He picked it back up and it became the rod of God. Lord, we realize that we need to give everything to you, Lord, and you give it back to us and we can do all things. Lord, we give you the praise and glory for all things, for you are God Almighty. And we thank you this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Take care. See you next time.